This video is proudly sponsored by my friends over at Mid-America Fence Supply. What is up everybody? We're here at FinSec 2024. I wanted to stop and take a moment to talk to a little bit about uh, Gopher Wood. We were walking by and I saw Caleb here. If you guys watch the show, you already know exactly who Caleb is. And if you watch the lives, you know Gopher Wood is one of our newest sponsors. So I thought this would be a great opportunity to introduce the viewers that may not watch lives to Gopher Wood. Well, good morning, man. Thanks for stopping by. Of course. Caleb, why don't you tell us a little bit about Gopher Wood? What is it? How did it come about? That sort of thing. Well, so the big problem that we're trying to cure here is about 98% of fences, maybe 97% of fences never get stained. They yep. never get sealed. A lot of fence guys are, are either too busy, too afraid, or, or just don't don't want to do it. Yep. And uh, and then it's left to the homeowner, and then we know what happens. Sometimes it gets done, sometimes it doesn't. So Gopher Wood is, is already stained. It's a factory nice. finished lumber. So okay. you can build a brand new fence, and it's already stained. It's already finished. So now, that's it. it's cedar. This is a kiln-dried cedar product. Okay. And um, we can do it in an import or a domestic cedar, and we do it, you know, that's our standard color right there that's called chestnut. Okay. It's a great color. And uh, we obviously you can do some custom colors as well, but sure. man, this thing really looks good. Well, the reason I grabbed this, I wanted to show you guys at home is the two before matches the picket. Yep. Which if you've pre-stained for any length of time or even stained on site for any length of time, you know the rails never seem to match the pickets. Yep. Yep. How'd you get this to work? So typically when you, when you have a fence, you have a rough cut picket and you have a smooth cut two by four. So yep. a lot of times you wind up with something that looks like this. Mm -hmm. Using the same stain product on the rough cut and the smooth cut, you get two different colors. So we sourced a rough cut two by four, so it's the same okay. finish. So basically uh, when you get it all done, it's a it's a really uniform look on both sides. So okay. it's it's just really the, the, the saw milling of that piece of lumber that makes it look that way. Well, and I like that the two by fours are also a square corner. Yep. It, sometimes it's the little things, but that's something that jumped out to me. I like a square corner. You know, I grew up in the fence business and you can butt things that are square together a lot better than you can rounded edges. And, and I just think they look good. There's a little more meat there too. Well, as a professional, I think it just looks a little nicer. Yep. Now let's talk about really quickly the benefits of pre-stain in general. And I think the big one is the fact that by putting up pre-stained lumber, we have stained and sealed yep. the faces that are covered up. Yep. Whether it's the back side of the picket, the front side of the rail, this thing has been sealed, stained on every face of the Yeah, product. so it's it's stained and sealed on all six sides, which is a great thing because you get the places that you normally can't get when you stain in the field. Sure. It stops warping, cracking, twisting, things like that. But the number one reason, um, aside from how good it looks, is there's been a lot of studies on lumber that is uh, pre-finished versus uh, lumber that's finished 10 days after it's exposed to UV okay. rays. And the longevity on a coating is, is uh, it's a multiple like 10 X longer that you can get really? um, in, in studies, you know, based on US forest product lab studies. So so we know pre-finishing is a better thing. A lot of sidings done this way, a lot of other things that are of a higher end type of lumber's done it. And we just wanted to bring that to the fence industry. Well, and one of the nice things about installing pre-stained lumber is once it's up, you're done. Yep, you can walk away from it. No masking, no worried about wind direction or wind speed, you get to put up a stained product. It's a great upsell for fencing contractors, but with no additional mess or prep. Yep, no mess. You put this on a steel fence post or a post uh, saber sleeves, yep. you got pretty much a lifetime fence. Lifetime and, and the maintenance on it's pretty low. Uh, your, your warping, cracking, twisting rate is going to be extremely low as compared okay. to like pine or something like that. And so every three, four, five years, whatever you would like, you can restain this thing and it'll look like this forever. Very good. Caleb, where do people learn more about Gopher Wood? Uh, Gopherwood.us. You can see okay. it on the banner there. Probably the best place. Find a dealer, find a contractor who's installing it. Very good. Caleb, yes, thank sure. you. Guys, as a fencing contractor, I'm telling you, you should check out pre-stained lumber if you install wood at all. It's an easy upsell. I particularly think that you'll like Gopher Wood. For now, Joe Everest, the fence expert, reminding you that good fences make good neighbors. And I'll see you next time.